All right, so I've got a new bulldozer. Actually, it's quite old. It's a vintage bulldozer made by a company named Stahl, S-T-A-H-L. It's fairly old. I'm doing a restoration on it, and one of the things I've always wanted to do uh, with a bulldozer, and now that I have it, I can try, is on highway construction and other bulldozer scenes, I've seen large pools of water often pushed in with dirt, and they almost like make the dirt fill in where all the water is supposed to go and they make a crossing. I'm brand new at operating this bulldozer. I've switched everything over. The ESC in there is a servo knot M220 uh, with a BMA hydraulic switch. I think it's BMA, um, but it's also a servo knot. So I'm going to give it a try. This obviously gives me forward and backward right here, left and right. And this controls my hydraulics. You can see my shovel lifting there, back and forth, forward, nice and slow. Lots of torque, 200 to one gear ratio in there. Let's see if I can get the hydraulics down, shovel forward. Oop, there we go. Let's see if I can do this. You gotta lift the shovel and adjust as it starts to slip. A lot of people have never driven a bulldozer before including me <laughs> soft sand come on if you keep lifting the shovel you can do it though here i'll just back up lift the shovel reposition and down goes the shovel and for oh, forward lowering the shovel and then lifting the shovel still lifting angling it forward there we go Oh, see, I keep adjusting the shovel up and down. <laughs> Come on, damn you. Harder than it looks, especially while I'm chatting on camera. Hold on. I'll stand away, see if I can do it properly.
Oh yeah. 